Hey everyone, it's Vu again. So one of the things I get asked about a lot is how do I get promoted faster? Uh, many of you have sent me messages about how uh, you guys are self-taught engineers and went through a boot camp, but may have started a little bit later uh, in life than what is uh, normal, but what is normal anyways. So like late 20s, late 30s, and maybe you feel like you need to catch up and you wanna really focus on your career um, what you can be doing to sort of climb that corporate ladder faster. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to jump into a, a few of my thoughts here. So the number one most important thing to advance your career like super fast is having a really great manager, uh, a manager that would uh, really bad for you. And for people that haven't been around in the industry for some time, um, it's really easy to get mixed up and think an average manager is a great manager because you don't really have uh, that much perspective to understand. It's often very easy to find what is a bad manager, right? A bad manager doesn't have any time for you, doesn't talk about career development, doesn't give you any tools or tips to, to advance. That's clearly bad and um, you know it's easy to spot. I think the big difference between a really great manager and a good manager is that all the really great managers I've ever uh, had or have ever seen, they truly put the people that report to them above themselves, right? So if there were crushing deadlines that needed to be hit and more work to be done, they're gonna be the ones in the front lines to take in as much as they can before um, passing it off uh, to their, their reports. So they're really trying to shield you from, from external BS uh, from your day-to-day -day job. And that philosophy of putting others uh, first before you is also something that great managers will do uh, in order to get you promoted. A really good manager will go to bat for you. Uh, when it comes time to advocate for you, uh, they would almost literally get up and start throwing punches um, for you because they are in your corner. The thing about really great managers though is that they're very few and far between. When you have somebody that you really respect, you really like, and you really feel uh, will bat for you, it's important to sort of identify that and I think stick with this person. My second tip is always over promise and over deliver. And um, you know how that saying goes like under promise over deliver? Um, that's not gonna get you promoted uh, and climb as fast as possible. Really when you're thinking about um, getting through the ranks, it's always people that make large promises and then somehow deliver uh, on these big lofty promises. Um, I think there's a big misconception of like what over promise actually means. In my view, um, I think a lot of people think like over promising means if, uh, if a task would take five days that you just say, hey, I can do it in three days and then you deliver it in two. Um, yeah, technically that is over promise, over delivering, but that is something that's a little bit less consequential and isn't necessarily going to allow you to, to stand out. The reason why is with project management, things can be pretty well organized. Um, so even if you did deliver something in five to three days, it's like, eh, does it really matter? Like the, the whole project might be done anyways, and they already budgeted um, five days work for this. So if you just did it in three days, like, does it really matter? Probably not. And doing things that don't really matter is not going to like help you stand out. A better example of over-promising is, let's say that you're in a scrum meeting, right? And there are some small tasks, and there are some medium tasks, or, and there are some tasks that nobody wants to do, right? If you step up and you volunteer to do the tasks that no one wants to do, uh, that in and of itself is um, sort of over-promising, right? You're taking one for the team, uh, you're demonstrating that you can be a team leader, um, and that you can be responsible for doing the tasks that are not easy. If you're a junior level developer, one thing you might want to consider is that, you know, if you're still taking a bunch of small tasks, rather than taking even more small tasks, 
you might uh, step up and volunteer to do the task that nobody wanted or do a task that's slightly out of your uh, comfort zone, right? So maybe rather than doing three small tasks, uh, you do uh, two small tasks and one task uh, that was meant for like a mid-level uh, engineer. And then once you start doing things that are a little bit harder and things that, you know, uh, people one level up should be responsible for, once you start working within that role uh, and demonstrating that you can deliver those things in that role, uh, naturally you're just gonna get promoted. My third and final tip for you is that you always need to be asking uh, in what ways you can improve. I think a lot of people, they don't really use a one-on-one -on -one time with their manager like super effectively. Like sometimes that's used for catching up on life, on projects and you know, that's good and you should be doing that. But one-on-one -on -one time is also for you to talk about your needs, your desires, your goals um, with your manager. Now, if you're looking to get promoted, it's a little bit of a faux pas just to be really direct with that. Although you can try it and be like, hey, when I'm getting promoted, I wanna get promoted, blah, 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 blah. Um, because it, it seems kind of weird and it seems like that might just be your singular focus and then people won't take super well to that. But a proxy question that you sh should be asking is something like, in what ways can I improve? And then to, in what ways can I be making your life better? Uh, and maybe number three is, what's the most important thing I can be focused on, like right now, right? By asking something like, um, in what ways I can improve, what you're demonstrating to your manager is that you have a growth mindset in that you want to be doing better and you want to be doing more. Um, that naturally signals to them um, that what you're looking for is a career advancement without like explicitly having to say that. And if this person is a good or great manager, this person will have actionable steps for you, right? They might say something like, uh, well, you can be doing your tasks faster. Uh, you can do be doing your tasks with more uh, precision. Um, you can be testing better. Um, you can be more proactive, etc." And when they give you this feedback, take try to figure out like what are the actionable steps and then do those things, right? Um, that's all about tip number two as well, uh, over promise and over deliver. Like by next week, just say, hey, I, um, I took your feedback that you gave me last week and these are the things that I've done to try to improve. And then do it again, ask them, what can I improve for this week? The other thing that I said that you should be asking is, um, in what ways I can make your life easier to your manager. Because you have to put yourself in the shoes of your manager. Uh, your manager is like just like you. They're, if they're like ambitious, they're thinking the same thing. Like, how do I, how do I get promoted, right? And how they get promoted is if you do a good job. If, if um, they deliver uh, things on time, well, that their team is happy, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, Sometimes you might find that you ask your manager this question and your manager just like unloads. They might be like, oh man, like I'm afraid that we're not gonna hit this deadline in time. Or they say, man, like we've had a lot of um, reviews from customers that this product is like pretty buggy. And taking that, if you can fix or help contribute to fixing your manager's problems, I can almost guarantee you that you will be their favorite amongst the entire team and that you will eventually get promoted, right? So for example, if your manager did say, hey, we're super behind on deadlines and I'm afraid that we're not gonna be able to deliver this on time, what you say, it's like, okay, I wanna help you. I'm willing to put in the work uh, to triage some of these things that we need to do. And I'm going to try to ship 1.5x faster. Um, if you say that, um, even if like you can't deliver on it, your manager will be like, wow, this is a guy that I want on my team. Someone that I can depend on and somebody um, that I want to help in the future. 
And just elaborating on the last thing, I also said that you should be asking, what's the most important thing that I can be working on right now, right? Because that also gives you an indication of the things that your manager thinks is important, right? Sometimes when we're doing our tasks, it's difficult to kind of see um, what the bigger picture is, right? And we can get so involved in working on small bugs or like pushing pixels uh, that we feel is important, but it might not be the most globally impactful, uh, important thing there is. So when you're just talking to other people and asking like, hey, what do you think is important for you? Um, they'll give you important tasks. And important tasks are the tasks that you should be doing uh, to get visibility um, at a higher level, but also for people to be visible uh, onto your work, right? If you're just in the corner and doing like 100 bug fixes per day, uh, although that's super important, um, the truth of the matter is a lot of that work goes um, oftentimes uh, unrewarded, right? Um, it sucks, but that's just kind of how life works. Um, the things that will give you visibility are the important things. So anyways, in summary, number one, find a great manager. A great manager is going to help you grow. It's going to help you develop. And come the right time, will come to bat for you uh, to get you promoted. Number two, over-promise and over-deliver. You have to set ambitious goals for yourself to where you can be demonstrating that you're working at the next level in that you're able to deliver uh, quality and consistency. And number three, hopefully with your great manager, uh, always be asking how you can improve. Ask for feedback and take actionable steps there. Um, ask your manager um, how you can make their lives a little bit easier and deliver on that. And then lastly, ask people what they think is the most important thing and do the most important things. Anyways, it's great to see you all again. Um, I hope this was helpful, and if it is, uh, as always, hit the like button and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon.